Far from Mike Sky Ranch is another place to stay, El Coyote. In my opinion, El Coyote is the same as Mike's, and in some ways, it's better. It's got a pool just like Mike's, but I think what sets it over the top is it's got a soccer field, so you and your boys can dismount and get some game on. When we pulled into El Coyote, they have a nice picnic area. Today we are observing a family having a barbecue. This guy was doing it right. You could see the soccer field there in the background with the volleyball net. On this trip we had a bunch of Honda guys from Orange County, California ghosting us on our trip. They were up there celebrating one of their buddies birthdays. <laughs> it was funny most of our trip we were all scattered all over the place and here these guys pull in single file. So hey, how do you guys do it? How do you guys all stick together? Because we can't seem to get that get that down. Why do you think we're together? <laughs> we're the slowest guy up front, and then it just kind of works itself out. Yeah, is is our buddy George with you guys in there somewhere? I guess those harder ways are actually that much quicker because I thought when Mark says. Where's Dan? I go, he's gone. And then here he comes. Bop, 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 bop. Did you get all that? Yeah. The one thing that striked me at El Coyote was a sign hanging above their door. Welcome to Rancho El Coyote, where the men are brave and the women are strong. Where you can meet the richest people in the world. Those who own their own time. There's something to ponder there for all of us. What owns your time and how do you spend it? Is it money that dictates owning your own time or is it just making a decision to spend your time wisely?
Go ahead, take a look. Yeah, it's right nice here. here. Right, George? Oh, yeah. It's awesome. Are you, are you comfy? I am I'm wonderful. I got my, uh... You always want to find like a nice little uh, shed. Opinion. Or an oak, a oak tree. Right now, this is a what? With, with a breeze. There's that church. That's what Baja is all about. And then you make a ride. And friends, of course. These guys, you always make friends down here in Baja. I like your spots. Yeah, I like your spots, huh? I'm not gonna touch you though. Yeah, you get my Who's your friend? Is that Chalupa? No quiero Taco Bell? Yeah. You look like a Marina. With your black stripes. Okay, so is this how they do it in Kermit? This is exactly how it's done in Kermit. We pulled into the town Punta Colonet. Right off the highway, we found a family rotisserie chicken place that looked amazing. I will pretty much go on the record of saying that the chicken I had here is probably the best chicken I've ever had in my life. And the best part is one chicken, two salads and freshly made tortillas, all for $2.25. Yes, $2.25. Along with the chicken, as we sat there, we started to smell the ocean air. miles from uh, Coyote Cows south and if you look come down in here in this area and uh, just be careful okay we don't want anybody getting hurt We're falling in uh, one of the caves you guys all signed uh, you know release forms Baja Diaries release forms yeah Baja Diary release forms yep. so let's go check it out we'll take some video and maybe some pictures and Another one. At the end of our day, we finally reached Coyote Cows, which has become in the last few years a staple in all of our trips. You can go back in the Baja Diaries series and see the different videos where we stayed at Coyote Cows and a Baja talk with Rick, the owner. On this night, Rick prepared his dad's famous Baja spaghetti. We spent most of our time talking about the day's ride licking our wounds and preparing the next day's adventure. I'd have to say too that at the end of every Baja day, fixing the world's problems with your buddies around the table is always a good thing. Hey, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button so you don't miss the next Baja Diaries adventure. Also for you hardcore explorers, make sure you go down into the description box where I have a bunch of links on different things that you could check out. And if any of my Baja Diaries videos has inspired you or your friends to go down to Baja, hit that like button.